All right, so what we've done so far is we've gotten up to the authentication module and we've talked about getting a dummy authentication token. And wherever the situation is, we need to, in any future communication between the sites, the modules have to pass authentication token. Without that, you're not authenticated anymore. If you turn off the auth module, you could then do it. So that's where the auth modules come in and saying, I'm a controller. So a copy is not doing it. A copy is still a bit robust, but it's delegating authentication to another app. Does that make sense? So copy still continues with its own function, which is I'm just going to be the intermediary between everything. And if you want to add additional functions like authentication, uh, chat, or whatever, that's when you keep adding modules as Microsoft. And it just keeps going, right? Okay. So we've done 23 really quickly, which is just on this here. And so push off into number 24, which is Rappi. So talked about only the authentication module on its own. I want to make it run with a copy, right? So to do that, obviously control C in terminal one and show you the code. Now this is where I have to be a bit well. The because it's in memory and not persist storage, you have to run all these commands again, proxy, tenants, etc. So it's really simple. First question it asks when you run this: do you run a copy? If you say no, it will running a copy. If you say yes, then run these commands. So what do you do? Right here, dot slash twenty four tab. Have you run? No. All right, it's running. Go to the second terminal. Right? And so listing on port 9130, dot slash 24, tab, hit enter. Have you run? Yes. Put everything for you guys. Right? So, just remember the, so you don't have to worry about the copy pasting, just remember this that the functions are doing. So that's 24 here. We then get number 25, which is um, I don't need to um, register or enable dot module. So remember the three steps, which is uh, enable, deploy, and configure. This is what module is. So you're enabling by registering number 25 here. So dot slash 25. I won't go into the details of doing because we've already done uh, enabling in another discussion. So it's just repeating step all over again. It's just the context is now a module, right? And so I'll hit enter. That's all done here. And it tells you what it is that was finished. I'm not going into 26, so 26. If I look at the code here, it's saying deploy, right? And I'll hit enter. And the deploy, deployment is going on up here. Once you've done that, um, the page off to number 20, I hit number 27. So we've done um, 26. I'm going to enable now, so which is the configuration. So I'm going to for this auth module, run it for 10 minutes, right? And so this is number 27, dot slash 27, tab 8. And so the idea of that is test auth. That's been pretty uh, good now. Now if I try to run um, test B, or call that basic module, which is 28. Um, so I'm going to go 28. And so run number 9. 19 first, right? Call test, call module without a to dot slash 19, tab, enter, and it is um, object called with 41 on our price because you don't have a token anymore, right? This one, I'm now submitting a dummy token, right? And I will run number 28, which is dot slash 28, tab, Enter. Hundred. Identicated. It works. So you can see how a module that was that the first one that will get it to talk to a copy, then an authentication, and it's like, okay, I need permission from the authentication module. So the code that sits there now governs how copy is going to interact with the module, right? And so that's that's the sort of step so far. Number twenty. So that's finished. Um, just, um, 
straight. That's done. Go to module number four. I've already done this for you guys, right? Remember the first step where it was all finished, and I like only something. So that's what it is. So this is all number uh, 15 and 16 finished. This is done. And if I look at number 17, I've done this as well. That's finished, right? We're now final module, which is number five. Okay, um, sorry, topic number five. So quickly, I'm gonna go back into my Stripe user package, okay? Copy these files, come back to Stripe, and hit it, and then replace the files, right? And so the difference between what I just copy pasted and if I you is I'm just gonna bring this out into the code. Package.json. We'll see it's got user, it's got trivial, which is what I pointed out before, and got user as well. Okay? So stripes.config. This is stripes, the user module for stripes. So looking at trivial and user. Okay? And so what I have to do for the work is obviously um, I run the steps. I now have to rebuild the server. I probably should have rebuilt before I went there, but that's fine. Um, hopefully, we'll be done. So let's see what happens, right? Um, so I have accounting already. Um, let me just see this again. Um, yes, I'm going to install. John, let's see what, what goes on here. here. Let me do the control C, I'm just not sure. Um, no, that's all good. All right, 230, let's see what happens. So install on, which is on terminal three. Okay, that makes sense now. So go to terminal three, uh, dot slash 30, install yarn. How the compilation is happening. What I'll do while that's compiling is all the more uh, user module. So this is about users now and how you see the users going through. This is on page number 19. This is we finished 18. So 19, and I'll go back to terminal one. Is press control C because I'm going to stop the um, the actual uh, module from running the, the jar file for a copy and if I'm 33 which is here um, so 32 it's a git clone mod user so the github you're trying to get it from there so we got that for you so I'm just going to quickly run that and show you uh, slash 32 tab hit enter file is there okay um, now I compile this so in no two that doesn't seem right. I'll two. All right. Uh, round thirty five. Sorry, number thirty three, which is this, only an install. I'm not gonna do it because we've already built it. In the beginning, you remember that. So if if I build it, it's going to take a while. So I'm not going to do that here. I've already done this. Before is I'm going to start to run a copy again. So this is going to do the yes no function. Dot slash thirty four tab here. Run a copy. No. It and no. It's running a copy in the back end. And in terminal two dot slash thirty four tab hit enter. Um, you have to wait just for this. So it says missing port 9130. Uh, yes. And so now the whatever we had to insert in terms of tenants and modules, it's all happening again, right? Because it's not persistent storage. And the bit that we need to do now is we need to enable, uh, deploy, and configure the module. Okay. So these steps are again what we've done for the three modules already. So that's done by running number 35 in terminal two. Uh, dot slash 35. Hit tab and hit enter. 
and I'm just going to double check just to confirm it's uh, all okay. So one created, so that's all fine, right? In this case you have any doubts, you can always look at the um, sort of files there. Deploy dot slash 36 tab. I've just deployed that into uh, OK. And now to enable it into the tenant. So that's 36 here, 37. And so uh, dot slash 37 is enabled. Oh, sorry. It's good stuff here. So when I enable, it's still thinking. Uh, it has now it's finished. But going on, <laughs> it's doing a bunch of bunch of stuff, which is why this hasn't been released yet. To wait for a while. That's why you have these two windows again, just to know what's going on, right? Now, and so if I do dot slash 37 tab, it is doing a bunch of stuff again just to enable. So 37 is again just a simple curl command to associate it to the tenant. And I'll have the um, like, module installed. So I'm going to take a look at command prompt here. My run has been built based on new package and configuration. And I'll go back here and start yarn. So it's running here. Uh, it's good. And then I'm going to do dot slash 39 tab. Hit enter. And so yarn is starting and it's going to do its web pack, whatever. <clears throat> to be honest, folks, that's really it. I need it for you. minutes. I just need another 10 minutes. I wonder what happens because it's still compiling. But a high level, this is very manual, right? The modules that come and give you the ability to um, download, or deploy, configure, or using a, using a backend. So the difference is because we're developers, we're having to sit through this stuff. That's the difference. But I guess from a front end perspective, there's going to be modules that do this. Because it's really repetitive. Once something's repetitive, you can program it. Well, that's, my, that's how I see it. And so that's what's happening. So it's been listening to 433,000. Let's go back. So it's saying trivial the last time. Um, and hit enter. Uh, I may have pressed control F5, but let's see what happens. Okay. Yep, still thinking. Okay, still thinking. I'm <laughs> staring at this, by the way. As developers, a little bit, a little bit of thing as well. While you sort of do this, um, so while this is happening, let me show you what's compiling. Yarn, by the way. Uh, and related to the yarn package manager and PM, etc. If I do module node underscore modules and click this, it's actually downloaded all this stuff when you can, um, yarn install for the first time. The difference is that it's zipped it and put a folder so you don't have to do the waiting. If you do this without the file without these files, then you have to then the modules will sort of reset in this folder here. And so the, all these JavaScript modules that are dependencies that are being loaded. Uh, so when you write your stripes modules, uh, you specify your um, uh, dependencies. All these dependencies through the manager are copied into node underscore modules, right? And so what's happening here with the Yarn package manager at the back end, it's having to go through these uh, huge number of files to make sure it's compiling all the JavaScript together. It loads. So uh, when you look at this just behind the scenes, all right, I'm having to wait. What is it doing? It's that node underscore modules folder that I'm going to look at. And so, yeah, it's still thinking. And fingers crossed, this is the last step. Uh, hopefully, it'll be done, but let's see what happens. That's fine. I'm going to check. It has developed F12. I browse like this. <laughs> I recommend it, but this is 
what happens when, you, when you're a developer, this is what you end up doing. And so if you ever see any errors, you see these errors here, and you have the ability to debug. <laughs> so, what the Remember the users thing? I added it into the Stripes package. That's new. When I clone it, it gave me errors. <laughs> it, was, it was working fine until last night. Yeah, it is. To click about, um, something's gone wrong between yeah. last night and today. But yes, it tells you things. And yeah, there's a couple of things. Uh, I didn't see this before. This, uh, I'm not sure what's gone wrong. What I would do is I would come back to this uh, directory and delete um, or copy users and, and um, um, notes for modules and then MBN install on all of them. Well, not MBN install. I would actually do get, get, get fresh copy. In that, there's new updates, so the chance that you do an MVN install, you get errors. Exactly. Yeah. So there were, there were a couple of guys in discuss, they said, trying to follow the curriculum, but we don't know how to do it. And so I had to point them to my, my folder and say, the, I'll tell you what was changed. In the script, which is here, if I look at um, a copy, um, table user. Uh, okay, give me like one more minute. <laughs> yes, no, no, done. I'm done. All right. This is the problem. Um, module that's user as the ID. It's code right now in GitHub. If dash one dot four dot two dot so it's gone out of exactly it's out of sync and so you have to delete it to sort of proceed right so hopefully I've given you an idea of how to load modules get it working there's still work but at least from my perspective the foundation is there to proceed um, it's a little while longer before I start building the module absolutely <laughs> just as somebody has got that upload deploy function I'm almost tempted to write it myself, just to save you so much time. But, all right, I might stop at that. We're out of time.